Welcome back! Let's take a look at pricing rules. To start working on your pricing rules, navigate to Settings, Pricing Rules, then select the pricing rule you want to work on or create a new one. Salary has a few default pricing rules that you may use as a starting point. We recommend making the necessary adjustments to those rules based on the strategies you know will best suit your business. Every pricing rule is made up of three main tabs, competition filters, pricing strategy, and buy box plus exceptions. Let's configure the first rule on the list and go through the contents of each tab. The first tab is competition filters. This is where you'll set up filters to rule out sellers you don't need to or want to compete against. For instance, you might want to filter offers based on condition, and exclude offers if the condition is worse than your condition, or worse than, say, used very good. This is just one of the several available options. Another possible competition filter is excluding offers based on their price plus shipping. This will exclude offers for all cases where the price plus shipping is lower than your minimum price by a value of your choice. Like 2.5%. You can also exclude or include specific sellers. All you need to do is add a filter that says exclude specific sellers and put in the seller ID or nickname in the blank field below. The second tab, pricing strategy, is where you'll set up your pricing strategy along with the actions to take after filtering your competition as well as actions to take in case there are no competitors for your item. A possible strategy when there is competition would be to take the lowest price in any condition and FBA fulfillment and then move lower to set your price to be lower than, equal to, or higher than the competition price. In the event that there is no competition, you need to tell Celery how to set your price and again you'll find several options here. Let's select 50% above my minimum price. The last but most important tab is Buy Box Plus Exceptions. This tab allows you to add different special cases as exceptions to your pricing strategy. The main thing to keep in mind about this tab is that Buy Box Plus Exceptions will always prevail over the pricing strategy and competition filters tabs in any repricing cycle. Let's think of an example. If someone else has the buy box in any case, then set my price plus shipping to 10% below the buy box price. This is a good special case if you're looking for a more aggressive strategy. In the bottom section of the screen, you will notice Celery provides a preview of your pricing rule with items from your own inventory. You can search a specific item by ASIN or SKU, or you can limit the items to those in a particular smart list just by selecting it from the drop-down menu. The panel on the right shows more information on the selected item, such as details, stock and competition, as well as the buy box and lowest prices for both used and new conditions in MFN and FBA fulfillment. The pricing log updates automatically as you work on your pricing rules. The preview panel is a great way of validating your pricing strategy as well as figuring out what additional changes are needed. In the pricing log tab you can also preview the effects of your markup and margin values. This is the best way to test different scenarios before deciding on the final markup or margin. Before we conclude this topic, it's worth mentioning that there is no limit to the number of pricing rules that you can create. Create as many as you want to experiment with different strategies via the preview panel. Your inventory will only be repriced based on the pricing rules that you've selected in the pricing overview section, which we'll be looking at next. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, we're always happy to assist you. Feel free to send us any questions at salary at sellerengine.com. Thank you for watching.